But in those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give up its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and put forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work and commands the doorkeeper to be on watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight or at the cock crow or at dawn, or else he may suddenly find you asleep when he comes. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. And this next reading is from the devotional, Those Who Dream. This paper lace explores the poetic patterns in this Mark text. Stars fall to the lower part of the frame as a fig tree leafs out in the central circle. The fig tree creates a circular motive, reminding us of the tree of life, while also representing the sun and the moon in, it, in this text. With a celestial flow, lines circulate around the edges of the piece, replicating the pupil of an eye. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. In the time of COVID and this season of Advent, we can see now. We can see that systemic change is not just possible, but immediate. God has tried this before. We have glimmers in history. Can the human collective bring about God's dream for the new heaven and the new earth? I reach out and touch it. It is possible immediately. We must choose it. In one of Oprah Winfrey's masterclasses, the late John Lewis shared how he was shaped by his mentor. Jim Lawson taught us the whole concept of the beloved community. This idea that in the bosom of every human being, there is the spark of divinity, and it is the spark of something that is sacred and holy and special, and that we don't have a right to destroy. The stars in this image depict that divine spark we are born with, that hope, those stars that have fallen from heaven and lodged themselves within each of us. Let us not be found asleep in this moment, this movement. Let us live into our spark. Let us seek it in each person we meet.